at Ohio, um, I'm going to play uh, Lou Harrison's Pipa Concerto for String Orchestra uh, with the Steve Shake conduct, uh, which I feel very fortunate have the opportunity to play Lou's music. But actually, that was the first Western composer wrote for Pipa Concerto way back. Um, 1997, I on the phone with the, with the Lou, and the Lou just said, uh, you know, I'm not going to write anything like the Pipa traditional repertoire, the, the traditional style. He, he was a little concerned if I agree with that, you know, he said, I will write uh, something, you know, from me. So I said, Lou, ex this is exactly what I wanted, you know, I really wanted to see the Pipa sound very differently from someone else, not from the same background. And uh, um, so Ru, th that time we, don't have, we didn't have email. We only have a phone or a fax. So he wrote the first line, the scale, and he faxed it to me and asked if that works for the pipa. And uh, I look at it, it, very interesting. It was D sharp, uh, E, uh. That's that's a scale. That's a very loose scale. Um, I said, Lou, go ahead. <laughs> let's write. Let's do it. So the tapping. Um, Part, which is from a loose piece, and uh, I would say that's loose in, invent, invent, uh, what's called invented. Um, in the traditional um, piece, we ha we do have a tapping, but differently. You know, we have like that's kind of a hit, or or we have kind of different sound, very percussive. But Lou did, which is very interesting. He did the thumb tapping this this part, and then those other fingers tapping on this particularly this spot, so there is a resonated sound. So, of course, 1997, uh, we premiered in Lincoln Center, and Lou was in the audience, and afterwards he came to me. He said, very quietly, he said, you're damn good. <laughs>